Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Now today is, I think, a really exciting blog because this is Terry Phillips and she is one of the Sew Like a Pro members. And she has agreed to speak, <laughs> which is very exciting. I have a co-host. Now Terry is a ballroom dancer and she has a really fascinating reason of why she enrolled in the school and I would love for you to share that with all the viewers if you would. Sure, I would love to. Uh, I love to dance and I was looking at a lot of the dresses that you see on the ball gown dance floor these days and I didn't really like the way they looked. Um, my mother was a couture and I saw her design. I wanted to take the more elegant uh, a form of a dress that you can have these days and actually dance in a beautiful gown instead of having to look unusual in a costume per yeah. se. Because in the ballroom world they have and it's rolled over into the country competition world as well and that they've gotten very very costumey in the last 10 or 15 years and so they have lost a lot of the elegance that was sort of the Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers look to begin with. And this is an American style gown, correct? It's actually going to be a standard. Okay. Now this dress is a work in progress as you can see from the pins up top and Terry Fost posted pictures of this on our private Facebook group saying, hey, this is my sketch, these are the fabrics that I've chosen, and she had the lace pinned on in a slightly different format. And this is beautifully sewn on, it's gorgeous hand sewing, which I went, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful, and that was inspired by your mother, correct? Because yes, because I watched her sew since I was a little girl, and I love hand sewing and to me I wanted to make a trapunto look and I just couldn't do it on a machine. I'm not that good at sewing on a machine yeah. but I can do a lot with a needle. Okay and then that brings me up to so whenever you enrolled in the Sew Like a Pro course what did you want to learn? What did you um, hope to what skills did you hope to improve? What was your main goal there? Um, I wanted to take a really elegant design, okay. put it together in a very uh, fitted way that would complement your body style, um, make it look flattering for you, and do it in such a way that when you walked onto the dance floor, you not only saw the, the dress and how it looked, but it would make you feel elegant and the whole package would show. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to learn how to do all those fine-tuning things that um, I just didn't design. I just wanted to, to figure out how to do that. So if I understand correctly, you wanted to be able to take um, street designs, like um, fashion wear, and turn or an elegant evening gown and be able to learn how to make it into a dance dress. Yes. Into a competition quality dance dress. Yes. I don't like the costumes per se, but I do really like a really beautiful gown and how to take a really beautiful design gown for mm -hmm. the person and learn how to do that in such a way that it would look elegant on the yeah. floor. And so far, because you've been in the program for a little over two, three, a year. Started. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you're, you took a break on this, yes. which is perfectly fine because we get, she goes, I just got tired of staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> Life got in the way. <laughs> Life does get in the way, which is why, I mean, literally, if you don't work on it for six months, don't go back to the sewing school for six months, whatever, it's there for you. You can always email you. We might bump into each other. <laughs> it's true. You never know what you're going to get into. This is actually the first time we have ever met. And That's she, true. <laughs> and she is only the second sewing school student that I've ever met. So this is really exciting. And as she told me, why she signed up for the school and told me about her mom, I started crying. <laughs> I wish I had said it right there. <laughs> so I want to, it's so amazing for me to be able to meet Terry and then I've met Patsy, one other member, mm -hmm. and to sort of see my dream come to life so that they can turn their dreams into something physical that they can actually wear. 
and, and uh, this blue book I'm holding is actually, <laughs> this is the stuff, I love this. Oh my, I'm such a nerd, I love this. This is everything so far that I have given them and I just, oh, this is so fantastic. So if we've got the sketch ladies, We've got the measurement cards. This is the pattern making supply list. It goes into all the blueprints, which you very tidily filled out. Mine's like erased. And <laughs> this is fabulous. I mean, literally this entire book, there's the written directions. This is everything. And then there's what? There's the skirts in here. Right. Average amounts of lycra are needed to make a leotard and two sleeves. Mm -hmm. And then it just keeps going. This is literally everything that I spent I don't know, hundreds of hours right. creating right. all of this. And they're and very clear, very clear. Oh, good. Do you feel this? Do you feel like this has been what you wanted? I totally. Mean, oh, cool. Uh, the first two pages it was the cost of the class, totally. It, it was exactly what I was looking for. It had everything that I needed. It had all the answers to my questions. And I was able to take my first attempt and make a bodysuit without any problems. Truthfully. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, she's really good. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. no crying. Yeah. See, really that's why I created the school. It yeah. really is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think you want to go with this? I don't know yet. Oh. Uh, I've had three or four different uh, ideas based on your blogs, your your discussion points on, on Facebook, uh, pictures that I've seen, yeah. how I felt that day <laughs> when I put it on, mm -hmm. and um, just to reevaluate my goal because yeah. as you're moving through a project, you, 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 your mind will change mm -hmm. on you depending on uh, what you see and how you feel right. and how the material moves at that particular yeah. time. And especially when you take a lengthy break, because you took a, what, a six month break? Yes, at least. Yeah. Yes. And, and a lot of times for those of you who do make your dresses from scratch or even with what you make them for clients, when there is a, um, a stoppage like that, when you come back to it, it really is almost like starting anew because and that the same is true for designing a house or designing a boat or whatever. When you take a break and come back, you really do have fresh eyes. And one of the, speaking of fresh <laughs> eyes, what if I was just taking sample fit pictures, setting up the light, getting Terry comfortable in front of four thousand watts? That's true. And then so I took pictures of her with the dress, and she, as I was having her look at the pictures just to see what she was going to look like, she goes, "Oh, the dress looks really good on camera." And I said, oh, you didn't take photos, did you? Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> at the beginning when the pinup, but that, yeah. not, not like what I saw. Yes, and a picture, if, if there's one thing that I could get you to do to help yourself, whether you're buying a dress that's ready made, or whether you're making one for a client, or you know, making one for yourself, take pictures and step back. And when you look at it on your lap, not on a little phone, I'm talking like on a laptop or on a desktop, just look at it and analyze it very neutrally. What looks good? What doesn't look good? What's the shape? What's the color? What do you really like and what are you not so wild about? And a lot of times that will um, help the transition, help you finish the dress or help you make a wise purchase. Right. Yeah. So we are going to wrap up this blog. Hopefully we'll see you again in another blog. And if you have enjoyed this, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address so I can make sure I tell you either when the next Sew Like a Pro enrollment is. Of course, you can join Terry. You, if you were to enroll in the school, what would you want to learn? What would your primary goal be? So that's it. Terry and I are going to try to work a little magic here, and we will see you again soon. Thanks so much.